All right, so here's another uh, QCW build I've been trying to work on. And this is the buck circuit. This is just a kind of bootleg test deal for now. And the whole idea is this is my first full bridge ramped build that I made. And that's what I was using to test my first QCW build with. So I know it worked out pretty good. It's the deal that uses a PLL feedback, but it doesn't have a coil. So got to wind a coil for it. Uh, so for testing, I'm actually using this guy. Uh, so I've got interrupted CW, but I, I see I've also got a switch to uh, take the, the DC smoothing off. So taking the DC smoothing off, I should be able to use this as sort of like a test deal. It's probably not going to be, uh, you know, amazing ramps or anything. But, uh, you know, eventually I'm going to try to get this guy going. I'm just sort of trying to see if this will sort of work out. We've got the cheap bootleg buck. For the QCW that I'm just going to end up sort of trying to push to see what the limits are there. Uh, single uh, 60N, 65, uh, ultra fast rectifier over here. Just kind of playing around with a, some snubbers across it. You know, 20 microfarad cap. This is just the same inductor that I had from before when I did my first testing on the other buck. Kind of reuse that. I'm going to see how that goes. Might need to use a different one. But again, I'm just testing. Instead of using a low side UCC gate driver like I did on the other circuit, this is just a gate driving opto that I noticed that I had. So I said, all right, let me use that instead. Uh, and this portion right here is just a little bootleg ZVS driver, common Mazzilli driver. Uh, just easy output. Just uh, driving this little transformer here. I've just wound this so that with about 15 volts input, 15, 16 volts, which is about you know what I'd feed it. It'll give me about 200 volts. So I'm trying to play around here. Uh, I guess the idea is if this thing sort of works all right, doesn't give me too much trouble, then maybe that'll motivate me to go ahead and wind the coil to get this working. So if I can get that working any kind of close to how it was before, uh, where I can just use the uh, ZVS driver rather than having to also tote around a Variac and whatnot, because I wanted to all be battery powered. I think that'd be pretty cool. And likewise, you know, big guy down there, still need to tune him. All right, so to give this guy the best chance, I've actually just uh, temporarily taken the top load off my uh, other deal down there. That's the uh, video keeps cutting out. Anyway, that's the rent. It, uh, so that's about 150 volts right there, right? So I'm holding the button down, 150 volts. I don't have the amplitude all the way up on the uh, ramp generator. So I've probably got something like, you know, close to 250 volts on the uh, caps right there on the buck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the uh, amplitude all the way up, see what that peaks at. So, so that's close to 200 volts. Phone keeps cutting out. So again, that's close to 200 volts DC. That's about, uh, well, that's more like one, 175. So that's about line voltage. Or at least that would be the equivalent of peak line voltage. And let's see, 2468, and that's about uh, 8 milliseconds, all right? So if I try to up the on time a little bit more, phone keeps cutting out again. Try to up the on time a little bit more and more. I mean, it's going to, I'm getting, getting into uh, the real fat arcs there that just decrease the length. So that's not a bad, uh, let me pick up the speed. Oh. My uh, battery died. But yeah, again, I don't know. That's not bad, right? So. Give it a little charge. Since those uh, are not very large capacitors on the buck doesn't really give that ZVS driver a hard time.
So while there is some weird funky noise going on here, I mean, probably largely has to do with this layout I've got going on. Um, and I would actually prefer to improve that LC filter. It's not bad. Yeah, I can, can hear... I can hear what sounds like sort of a healthy arc with some weird funky stuff in the background. But I think that's actually coming from my computer speakers, to be honest. So yeah, again, that's not bad. Uh, that coil's a little too big, you know, but just imagining everything was much smaller. Everything about that size, you know, I'd probably prefer closer to two, 3,000 microfarad. It could be done without increasing the size too much. Everything would fit, you know, in the form factor of this, uh, full bridge build that I've already got plus the smallish coil and I since you know I've seen it before I know I would still be able to get the same breakouts if the coil was only you know about that tall or so uh, wouldn't need such a gigantic uh, toroid 